Visit sayarite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a wire cable into the Suncor Quick Attach 3 16 by 5 16 inch turnbuckle. So with my turnbuckle expanded about three quarters of its length, I've marked my cable where I need to cut it. So this is uh, the end that I'm not going to be using, and this is the end that I will be using. This is a wire rope hand cutting tool or wire cutters. Uh, they don't open up unless you actually press all the way down and then it releases and then you can open it up to its maximum opening. So here's where I want to cut this cable. This is a 3 16 inch stainless steel cable and I want to cut it right on this end and here's how it works. Works beautifully. First we're going to remove the cone from the end of the turnbuckle. You'll notice that there is a pressure washer here and then on the inside of the cone just press your fingers here and you'll see three wedges with an o-ring on the end. This Suncor system will work with a stainless steel 1x19, a stainless steel 7x19 and a 7x7 wire cable. We're going to take the cone and we're going to slide it onto our wire cable. This is a 3 16 inch wire cable. Then we're going to take our wedges and we're going to slide it on with the rubber o-ring towards the end of the cable. And then you want to make sure that the wedges are all even. If you look around, they should have an even placement, which they do. Then we're going to take the pressure washer and place it on the end and then make sure there's 3 16 inch of cable sticking out of the end. Right there. Now we're going to slide the cone over this being sure that we don't move it and then we'll screw in our assembly. Make sure this nut is all the way at the top before you screw it into the cone. And then when it becomes hard to turn it by hand, we're going to use some wrenches to secure it down well. There we are. Attach your adjustable wrench to this nut and it will be used to hold it secure and then we will tighten it until it's very firmly locked in place. There we go. Now we're going to put our adjustable wrench on this one and then we're going to lock the lock nut onto the cone. <clears throat> Installation is complete but we still need to seal the end. We're going to be using a 3M uh, marine grade silicone sealant and we're going to apply some onto the end of the cable as recommended by the manufacturer Suncor and then make sure it seals all around the perimeter of the cable. There we go. Now we are not on the job site where this will be tensioned down but when tensioning a turnbuckle when it comes under uh, high loads sometimes it can gall and freeze. If you use an anti-seize like this one on the threads prior to uh, tensioning down the turnbuckle, it will prevent it from seizing. If you have any questions about any of these products, feel free to give us a call or email us. We're glad to help. I'm Eric Grant, and from all of us here at Sayrite, thanks for watching.